right, so we're checking out the only game where the best way to become an undefeated president is to kill everyone in the entire country so that no one gets to become president after you. It's I am your president. Mori bowl of flavored Starbuck, damn it. I am your president is a game where you get to become president and make all of the various decisions that presidents make in order to make the United States a wonderful place. That's not going to happen. We all know the point of these games is to run the country as best as you can. We're not doing that. I want to run the country into the ground the best I can. There has got to be a way to get everyone killed. And so I will work to that end. It's your birthday. Your mother hasn't called you because she hates you. Your wife wants to go home. What do you do? The obvious thing, get divorced. She looks at you with resentment in her eyes. I am tired of you. So am I, you reply instinctively. I guess the divorce happened a lot faster than I had previously anticipated. I feel like the best way to make an appropriate president for myself is to have them filled with as much rage and anger as possible. You are not divorced. You are a president. Up oh, now that you're president, your mother says, I am sorry, congratulations. Forgive her or be an asshole. You and I both know the choice here. This is the last conversation you have before she passes away. <laughs> no wife and no mother, I'm starting this off right. You want to be remembered as a persistent president or a righteous president? Persistent, because I'm gonna keep trying to get everyone killed until it works. Welcome everyone to the White House. Great, Abraham Lincoln's over here judging me. I got a phone from like 1997. I just opened up the computers. One of the things that you can go into is reptilian photos. Why? Provide secret password. Password. Damn it. Starbucks? I'll come back to it. All right, come in. There's work to be do. What the hell are you? Holy sh my chief of staff has been killed and replaced with a cardboard cutout from a Mr. Rogers skit. Happy New Year, Mr. President. How are you doing? I have just read the exact same thing. Are we presidenting with Google Translate on our side? Cause it feels like we're presidenting with Google Translate on our side. All these other ones make sense. This one doesn't, so I'm clicking on it. All right, we're talking about important things for the world. One of the issues is climate change. I don't wanna fix climate change though. I wanna make it worse. Immigration, inflation, taxation, boring, boring. Where's Skynet at? Ah, military superpower. I like it. Nuking people, yes. So my chief of staff, uh, has a little secret weapon for our presidential campaign. It's the uh, Grim 4.0. It's literally going to be Skynet, isn't it? If this game has Skynet in it, it's a 10 out of 10. I'll give it an 11. In case you're wondering what uh, Grim stands for, it stands for Gray Rectally and Pales America. 4.0, I tried three other times, it didn't work. Oh, it's legitimately a custom AI. We're gonna have an AI running the entire military. You guys couldn't give it a name that maybe the people wouldn't be so afraid of. Actually, you know what? Grim is fine. You should have made the last name Reaper. Bye. Oh, the back. They could, we couldn't even afford to color the back of him. Investment projects, eh? I like this. We didn't care about commerce. We didn't care about climate, but conflict? Wait a second. Hold on. Real-time strategy, threat elimination, global domination. <laughs> Oh my God, we have to, we have to get this. What does it take? I like that. When activated, story consequences. Can I just go straight to this? You have to unlock technology? What is this, like StarCraft? All right, real-time strategy it is. What's the possibility of World War III in 2018? A lot. I like that when you end your day, you get a title card. This title card is called Beautiful Beginnings. In case you're wondering, Grim 4.0 is also giving us our title cards. Ah, Captain Cardboard, come on in, sir. How are you doing? I have a feeling this is going to be a wonderful year. I have quests now? My quest is last man standing? <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you got it. Oh, I've got a, I got an email here. Uh, we just learned that your new secretary is pregnant with quadruplets. Oh, whoops. I like how I'm on day two and I've already taken up smoking. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, now I think the titles are just screwing with me. Holy shit! A snowstorm. The whole country has been covered in a white blanket. <laughs> That's what I get for not caring about climate control, I guess. <laughs> Come right in. Oh God, sir. I thought I wouldn't make it here. I just received a report. What's going on? Snow, it's literally everywhere. They said winter is coming and I didn't believe them. What a fool I was. 
Sir, I think that was a meme, not an actual prediction. A meme? What is that? Yeah, let's just go into this tangent. A funny picture consisting of both truth and joke. I like memes. We don't want Americans to turn into polar bears. So I think we should invest. Wait a second. We have to make sure our citizens are safe. Do I have to invest in anything? I like polar bear. <laughs> oh, I, ha I have to address the people but I have to do it on Twitter? What is your screech going to be? What the hell are the different options? Freezing. Der Sidzen, I'm freezing as well. Don't die, please. Yours, President. <laughs> there can't, there's nothing better than this. The White House is secured and soon the rest of the country will be as well. Boring. Wood in my fireplace is nicely crackling and my hands are now warming up at ah, boring. I just really love polar bears. <laughs> I have to pick this. Oh, they respond to it. Look, I got uh, 18K likes. Can someone pull me out? Fish started to bite my toe. God. Development strategies. Uh, foreign special interests. I need this to get world domination. My guy. I guess I don't have a choice. I legitimately have to start with the weather crisis center. All right, looks like the weather platform worked, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for the polar bears. All right, CC, come on. Who the hell are you? What happened to Captain Cardboard? It's like a Shia LaBeouf cardboard cutout. Director of Communications, have you checked the calendar recently? No, I'm, I'm too busy getting judged by these friggin' owls. Can we get rid of these? The Super Bowl is coming. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna be in a Super Bowl ad. Time to screech about it. Cause the last time I used screech, things went so well. Selfish, screw football, wanna see the real game. Nerdy, did you know that Americans eat 1.3 billion chicken <laughs> I don't even want to see what kind is. Anything that has to do with chicken wings, that's the stuff. Look at the likes. Every time a new strategy is unlocked, I'm so happy. All right, is it Shia or the other guy? It's Shia. He's like, good morning, Mr. President. I need bond money. There's someone waiting for you behind the door right now. It's an assassin, isn't it? He's probably like, I don't know. I'm the director of communications, not secret service. Who is it or what do they want? I don't even care who it is. Send him in. A journalist, she wants to interview you. <laughs> Oh, I'm absolutely gonna do an interview. All right, let me show her. What, she wants to talk to me about the Super Bowl? Being a president in this world is easy. Hi. Hello, Mr. President. I'm honored to meet you. Hello, Sarah. I'm honored to meet your extremely white teeth. Which team do you think is best? Um, E, I support the hyenas, the parrots. How come this one's blue? I wanna pick the blue one. Oh, the blue one was the right answer. Thanks for the interview, Mr. President. This, this was the easiest interview I've ever had in my entire life. She's over here, she's like, and now if you don't mind, I have to return to my Macy's catalog. When do I start killing people? I got a new email. Problem areas. We need to talk about one of your senior policy advisors, Mr. Johnny B. Bad. First off, we're not firing this guy. In fact, give him a raise. This name is amazing. He's one of our most qualified men. His administrative talent has earned him a strong position, but he's an asshole. Reply, harsh, dismissive, amused. What's harsh? Fire him? No. Sensitivity training? Are you kidding me? <laughs> or amused? Oh, he's being a meanie. Well, if that's such a problem, perhaps we should relocate him. There's a tiny room with cleaning utensils on the second floor. <laughs> Actually, let's just go ahead and be dismissive about this. If he can help me get everyone killed, all the better. International scandal, your reputation has been besmirched in foreign media. I'm starting to be very, very happy that we're going for world domination instead of just US domination. Press conference is about to begin. I'm ready, I'm not ready at all. Whatever the worst answers are, let's do this. Oh wow, it's a legitimate press conference. Yes, you sir in the blue shirt. Are you nervous before the nomination convention? No, I'll win. All right, over here in the back. What are the biggest challenges? Nanotechnology mission to Mars. All the way in the back with the freaking <laughs> All bunion outfit. Would you call the vice president your sent? Friend, uh, sure. Would you say something to our readers? Vote for me. Are you too old for the second term? Your mother's too old. What the hell was the point of that? Foreign special interests unlock. I'm almost there. I'm so close. Judgment day. Uh. Is this, is this it? Is, it, is the world finally ending? Did my AI come online? Oh, damn it, there's no fire. Who are you? It's like these, they get younger every time. Campaign chairman, what are you, like 18? There's a new article in the news and it's called 
Pinky swear new song is a smash. Pinky swear a young, sexy, intelligent, talented rapper did it again. Her new song is a smash hit called Damn You X. What can I say they had it coming? I like this Pinky swear. Can I like get her on my cabinet somehow? Mr. President, I don't feel so good. Oh Christ. What happened? Did the young guy die? How are you feeling as president? Victorious. You have a visitor. Remember our conversation about a medical checkup? Wait. Is smoking like 80 packs a day bad? They just ripped you right out of ER, didn't they? I'm really glad that I can be the one to examine the president. But how, like, how deep are you examining me? How are you feeling? Not well? Above all tired? I'm generally in pain. All these are kind of bad, but I like this one the most. What bothers you the most? My whole body is in pain. I thought I got this through to you on the first answer. I have a headache, a stomach ache, and everything <laughs> Interesting. Have you experienced any problems with your memory? Have you ever woken up and didn't know where you were? Yes, sometimes. Oh, God, yes. Do you often feel weak like you could use consciousness? I can't die before I kill everyone else, damn it. I'm going to ask you some numbers, and then you have to repeat them. Do I have to write these down, or does it not really matter? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I have to mention something. Both of these answers are wrong. I didn't know the text would just stay here, but that is not right. I'm still gonna answer as if though I know it though. Let me try again. <laughs> it would be best if you just forgot about it and got back to whatever you were doing. Yes, I will come back to work and forget about it all. Long live the denial. This is like the best doctor ever. He knows I'm totally not fit and we're just gonna forget that that was ever a problem. I get to write my own prescriptions? Death for mankind. Now you always have to sign. I think at this point, everyone knows the channel's signature. Just go ahead, that there. Maybe wondering what this is. This is a doorknob on its, on its end here. See, that's the knob portion that you, the knob portion that you grip. And here's the shaft of the, uh, of the doorknob. All right, young Freddie Prince Jr.'s back. I just had a giant conversation with my chairman about how my music selection sucks. This th that's this is what's happening at the White House right now. This is pressing matters. Music is a beautiful thing. Bullshit. I often dream about being a rock star. Bullshit. I hate modern pop music. No. My heart is so full of music, I bleed sounds and notes on many occasions. Yes. Our press is so weird, you have no idea. It's the guy, it's Paul Bunyan. Yo, 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 Mr. Prez, what's up, big homie? We're going with rap music. I can connect you with the best up and coming rapper, Pinky Swear. Oh, Pinky Swear's coming to the White House, y'all. She's gonna write a song for you. Awesome. Someone get Paul Bunyan a raise. Pinky Swear endorses the president. Pinky Swear decided to endorse the current president with her new track, it's called All My Homies and My Hoes. Gonna vote, are you kidding me? Shortage of nickel. Where the f did all the nickel go? I didn't think it was one of those metals that was that rare. Who did, who are you? There's like a new person every day in here. Carolyn Hicks, Director of National Intelligence. I'm here to talk to you about a sensitive issue. Just shoot. Not like ask me the question. Start shooting everyone. We've got global domination going right now. Literally right now. There's an issue connected with someone who's a part of your inner circle. Is it about my ex-wife? I haven't heard from her in 20 years. The cabinet member has done things behind your back that are not quite legal. Carolyn, I'm doing a lot of things that are not quite legal. Oh, he's been sending donations to Screecher. That's probably why I'm getting so many likes. I wanna tell you that all I did was for you, for us. Okay, Logan Paul, spit it out. Now explain yourself. I made a small deal. I have useful connections. I'm pretty good with these deals. Guarantee victory in the elections. Go on. I like how the option is this is illegal or this is victory. Victory. <laughs> yeah, you damn right. I'm gonna take the risk. I just won't worry about it. I just stop worrying about anything that could be potentially negative. That's what my doctor told me to do after all. Holy sh! I can do an entire cabinet selection. There's like opinions about all these people. He always brings me a cup of coffee. Lovely person. I like that this guy's main benefit is he knows how to smile. Logan's from New Jersey. All right, we gotta keep him. Now my cell phone's ringing? This thing's been sitting here for like the last 200 days. I didn't even know it worked. Do you have any knowledge of data leakage caused by one of your cabinet members. This just unlocked. I appreciate that because I'm an asshole. I'm able to unlock the good answers. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. That was easy. It's like the only thing I'm good at is lying. And life's never been the same. 
Oh, Jesus. Hey, Doc. Do you remember the medical examination I conducted? Ouch. Oh, Is something wrong? It's official. I'm pregnant, aren't I? You've been diagnosed with a brain aneurysm? Jesus. Wait, so I have to stop being present in order to continue living? I don't think so. Sorrow endings. Did I just die? My ex-wife just tried to talk me out of being president. I'm going to be president until the very end. Well, this is an anime top 10 deaths plot twist. I wanted to kill everyone else, but instead it's me that's dying. I can't change who I am. Someone that wants world domination. I like how being an asshole, I am the most political person in the entire universe. Now, what's my prescription here? What happened to the prescription I wrote myself, which is death for mankind with a doorknob on it? Where'd that go? Welcome to election day. The fall is finally here. Assuming I'm still alive. <laughs> you stroll through the park thinking about the election and watching the leaves swirling and finally it happens. Ow, oh, shh. It was a bunch of good stuff, but then it's all wiped out by the bad stuff. The funeral, the divorce, the tiredness, the diagnosis. You fall down. You wake up. Oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm still president. You come back for one last time. Okay, so um, since I'm still president, I get to do whatever I want, right? <laughs> I could <can> fire everyone. <laughs> the president has decided to run for re-election despite his deteriorating health. You're damn right. Wow. And thus I will run the entire country from my deathbed. After firing my entire cabinet. It's a monarchy now, bitch. Well, guess that's I am your president. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Stay foxy and much love.